Hello you guys, this is Swanette from Nell Stand for Fun. Today I want to show you guys how to create this beautiful simple mani. Okay, I will be using a plate from Born Pretty Store. Born Pretty Store sent me some more plates to review for you guys. So today we'll be starting with M83. Okay, as you see M83 has six images. Okay, they're very cute. I did have some problems, let me say, with the one in the center because the lines are very thin I had some problems picking it up um, they did pick up but you have to move very quickly I'm guessing it's because the nail polish is, um, dries fairly quickly in those fine lines so if you work very quickly and use a Conat polish it will work okay but I was kinda sad because of that one but all the other ones work great Okay, I see it's have a pretty cat, a bird with hearts. That's the one we're going to use, and we're going to use this image right here too. Okay, it's a very fun plate. If you didn't know, Born Pretty Store sells a lot of plates. Um, they range from anywhere to 99 cents and up. Okay, um, the only thing is because um, Born Pretty Store is an international seller, their stuff does arrive um, late. It takes anywhere to four to six weeks. Um, for your items to arrive. Me personally, because I live in Puerto Rico, it takes me, um, it takes around three to four weeks. I guess that's lucky, I don't know. Um, <laughs> but um, I have ordered from the past. All the plates have worked right well. I haven't had a problem. The only thing, they do not have backing, so you have to be very careful because the edges are sharp. I do sometimes just take an old nail file, just run it around the sides, okay, to eliminate any side that is sharp, okay? Because remember, you can get cut by nail plates, and it doesn't matter if it has a backing or not, because I have gotten cut with or without backing, okay? And it really hurts, okay? So always be careful with your nail stamping plates. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do it. It's very quick and very simple. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. For this manicure, I will be using my new Morgan Taylor nail polishes. Okay, they are my first Morgan Taylor polishes. I received them from a nail swap with my lovely friend Colores de Caro. Oh my gosh, she sent me so many beautiful polishes, you guys. If you haven't seen my Instagram, go check it out and you can see all the polishes she sent me. I mean, that, they, they are fabulous. Okay, so for this manicure, I applied um, this beautiful mint green color called Going Native. And for my ring finger, I used this beautiful silver that's called Old Snap It's Silver. Alright, I already did that on my nails. And now we begin to stamp. We're going to do our ring finger first. I'm going to use the image with the birds and the hearts. And Conad Black. Gently swipe, pick up, and roll on. Okay, and there you go. Very simple to do. If you want, you can also fill it in and apply it, and it will look great too. Okay, I get this question asked a lot how do you clean your stamper? Um, I've said it before, I use tape or use a lint roller, okay? See how it cleaned that super fast? That's all. Okay, it's very simple. Um, and it's better for your nail stamper not to use acetone so um, you can have a better life. <laughs> I also get asked a lot, what is this handy tool? This is called uh, ASP Manicure Saver Cotton Cloth. I just call it the cotton claw because it's much more easier. <laughs> but I'll link down below um, where I purchased it so you can see the package and everything. But I purchased it on Sally Beauty Supply. Okay, it's very handy. You clean up your plates without damaging your manicure. Now we're going to do um, the thumb. And I'm going to show you guys how to stretch your stamper for this. Okay, we're going to apply Conat White to the image plate. Gently swipe. We swipe again. Pick up your image. You're going to take it out 
you're going to pinch back see how it's ex expanding it and roll on all right see how simple that is okay and it covers all your thumb as you see this many is very simple okay we're already done and now all that's left to do is just apply your favorite top coat I'm using Sesh Beat remember when applying a top coat apply generously okay I usually just grab a big ball of top coat and run it across very fast okay not applying too much pressure because you will smudge your design I hope you guys enjoyed the video please take care and happy stamping bye <music>